neighbor just brought us cupcakes as a move-in present. I cried a little. So good. Retweet if you cried. We shopped. This angle is it. This angle is it, fam. Best purchase. Alyssa's just out of shop because this angle is awful. We're out of here. This is the worst you've got for the foot. I have movers coming in the morning, afternoon, around like 2 1 and 2 30. Look at here. And my room is not even sort of packed. So I was gonna sleep over at my new apartment, but honestly, I think I'm just gonna go there and hang out for a while and then come back here and pack because I am not like I'm ready emotionally to leave. I don't know if I'm ready literally to leave. I feel like I'm more ready than I think I am. I think so I'm just gonna start throwing shit in boxes in the morning so it won't be that bad. I hope. There's a giant bug. I'm out. I'm done. I'm done. Yeet. my new place i unpacked all of the stuff that i brought over and then i brought like the empty boxes back to my apartment house whatever it's so close to be done but i brought them back in the morning i'm gonna kind of just pack up all my last minute stuff what's nice now is that i'm like okay literally everything in here is out tomorrow like that's it it's gone it's gonna be nice to just kind of be like throwing stuff into bins and just being like all right time to go time to go now i'm so excited to move out of here oh my god all my roommates are moving out tomorrow for the most part too and there's a bunch of them hanging out downstairs right now but i honestly would rather go to sleep because i'm exhausted catch y'all on the flip i am packing up the last of my stuff yes all right we're gonna pretend like this is a good angle hi i am moving today i could not be more excited i'm hoping that doesn't rain because it's pretty cloudy right now and i definitely don't want water damage on a bunch of my stuff but you know we are uh as the kids say out here i'm so excited i never have to sleep in that house again that's incredible i have literally my brain knew that i didn't feel safe in that house before i knew i'll probably do like some sort of a story time or something about some of my experiences while in the house maybe just a little sum up of what it's like to live with six other people but either way i am so excited to be moving and to be just a person that doesn't live with the fucking assholes that i lived with like it just it was such a toxic environment all year i'm so close to the end the movers are coming around one i don't know what time it is right now because i forgot my watch at my new apartment so i think that i'm gonna get coffee i'm gonna stop at chase because i gotta get money to pay the movers with and then i'll probably go to the new apartment and pick up like my watch and a metal straw this deer is just really just chilling here, right where I need to be driving, but I don't want to drive towards it. Hi, baby. Hello. I feel like crying and I, I don't know why. I feel like I'm like mourning the last year because I was so miserable in my house all year. I was miserable. I was having the worst time my grandpa died when I was living in the house. My roommates turned against me. I couldn't leave my room for four days because I was afraid that someone was going to scream at me for, I don't know, anything. My roommates broke my dishes on purpose or on accident and now I just I'm so close to being like free of that and I think that it's just like it's really really getting to me. It also started raining which sucks. I'm so close to being done and it just like sucks that I'm not done yet because I'm so ready to be out of this fucking place. I don't want to see any of these people ever again. I literally don't want to see any of them ever again and it's like hard to think about that because when I moved in I was at least friends if not best friends with these people and now I mean living with people tries you because like you can't just like walk away and go chill alone in your house because they're there and like even if I was in my own room like thank god we all had our own rooms because someone would have fucking died it's not the same when you can still hear the person that you're so mad at like right outside the door or right down the hall or in the kitchen or whatever because you can't like exist anywhere except for your room that's so so fucking toxic and <sighs> i'm so close to being done i got this little bandana yesterday at target it's got little campers and rvs on it so I'm kind of feeling this look i don't know if it looks bad in the back let's let's see i'm just gonna go back i have to 
finish packing up my room and then they're like oh we gotta go through the kitchen and living room like all i have in the kitchen is my food and i will be getting my food out in the morning so <sighs> i'm so close i'm so close i'm so close i'm so close so close so close so close so close okay also i want to show off my moving ootd i've got these like overalls from dickies that are like my they're my painting overalls so they're covered in paint i've got this cute little tank top on and i've got this is my little pop of color and then i've got on my adidas suit it's really cute i'm really feeling it sneakers Going to Orchard last time. Almost last time. Probably won't be the last time, but last time for. So my desk is here and all my stuff is in my room. The bed is gonna stay where it is. I just made it. I'm so excited. The trunk is gonna stay where it is. The fridge is there for now. I'm not sure if it's gonna stay there because I don't like how narrow this is, but I also only have this for the summer. I'm planning on putting all my music stuff like here, I think, like my guitars and stuff. This little plant stand. I've got that bedside table, my bookshelf. I have like a clothing rack that I just ordered that I think will look really cute here. So yeah, I think my plan is to take these bad boys and put them like on the ground there. Obviously empty all these boxes out. It's hard because I don't have a dresser yet. I didn't think through the fact that I don't have a dresser yet and I need to unpack clothes. And also there is no bar in my closet yet because that is apparently the, the last thing that they needed to do. They're delayed like four weeks renovating my apartment because the apartment above us started leaking water into our apartment and it set them back a lot. I'm gonna fix that. So we're out here. I just ordered some sushi. So I'm gonna go pick that up and eat it and be happy because my room is honestly perfect. Like that giant windowsill is amazing. I'm obsessed with everything here. I'll have this cute little reading nook in the corner and then over here is like my actual bookshelf pretty jazzed at the moment so much unpacking to do <laughs> so much so much i'm so happy oh i think no that's not Alyssa. just kidding your girl is out here yeah yeah the only thing that sucked is i had to pay for three hours of my movers because that's their minimum and I, they took them like an hour and a half to move all my stuff oh no they were too quick also i'm kind of feeling this bandana thing i think my summer look is gonna be something like this hopefully less sunburn during the summer but that seems unlikely so I'm going to be working eight hour days at the pool. But what is so nice is that there is the pool right there that I will be working at all summer, which is ridiculously nice. I think I'm going to quit one of my other jobs. Sushi, 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 sushi. Yeah. First nap in the new house. My room is almost entirely empty right now except for some garbage in this rug that I'm just gonna put downstairs, but like wow. This is so weird, it's so echoey. I forgot that the floor creaks over here because my bed's been in this corner all year. I'm not gonna miss this place literally at all, but it's just so weird leaving. I feel zero sadness. That's insane to me. I usually feel sad at the end of every year. I don't feel sad whatsoever. Man, I'm just so excited to get the fuck out of this place. So I'm gonna throw my audiobook in a vacuum and then I'm gonna mop up here and then I'm gonna go downstairs and do the same thing. And then I am done. I will be out of here. I'll probably throw stuff out from the fridge too, but. My room is completely cleaned out. I just vacuumed and honestly, I don't think that I really need to mop up. There's anything to mop up up here, but it's just like, I remember the last time this room was this empty when I moved in and I was so excited for this year. Like I was so excited for living with all my friends and getting to be a senior and I was like new to my program and I was so excited to get grad class and just so many things ended up not being what I wanted them to be. And now I'm like so hopeful moving into this new place and I'm also terrified because what if it just ends up being as awful as this place was for me? Like what if I'm the bad egg? I don't really know. I feel really weird. And I don't feel- I'm not sad to leave. I'm sad for the fact that I'm so excited to leave. Like, I'm sad that this place was so fucking awful for me that I'm excited to move on in a way that's not like, I'm excited for the future. It's like, I'm excited to leave the past. And I just I feel really conflicted and really weird and I don't know really what I'm feeling. God, I hate this place. I fucking hate this place. And the stupid Moana stickers and the hole in the door on the wall that was there when I moved in. If she tries to charge me, I'm just gonna be so mad. And the scrolled poem in the fucking closet. <laughs> the stupid fucking shit on the wall and I just feel so weird. But I'm ready to leave. Hopefully I'll never be in this room ever again. Yeah. Just 
just finished mopping the disgusting living room after vacuuming it. All I have to do is empty the fridge and then I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. Hello, so I'm running to my apartment right now. My new apartment. 27 minutes my lease ends. Thank fucking God. I hate this place so much. I mopped downstairs and like cleaned up and stuff. And then I went to clean out the fridge because that was something that I said I would do. Nobody cleaned out their shit before they moved out. So like literally there were full beer bottles, full things of butter, full things of vegetables, fruits, stuff that wasn't even bad yet that people just were too fucking lazy to take out on their own when they moved out. So I had to take it instead and so i just threw it all out and the fridge which i haven't cleaned the freezer yet but the fridge was two full garbage bags full of wasted food i think i might have had some celery in there but that was it everything else was other people's who are too fucking lazy to clean their shit out before they left there was a full bottle of milk and i have to go back to my house now to get paper towels because there's no paper towels and i'm supposed to clean the fridge and so i sprayed multi-purpose spray and then went to grab paper towels and we don't fucking have any <sighs> I have a lot of anger, clearly, about this whole situation. So fucking ready to be out of there. I'm so close, I'm so close. So I'm just gonna grab paper towels from my apartment and the couple of things that I had the, in the fridge that I wanted to keep, which was just like tofu and miso. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my fridge in my new place. And then I'm going to go back, clean out the fridge, clean out the freezer, and take all the garbage to the curb. I'm also gonna wash my face in the back of my apartment because I think I touched my face with some of the cleaning chemicals and it's burning a little bit, which is funny. One last thing and then I'm out of there for good. I'm out for good. I will be out of there forever. I never have to go back and I never have to see any of those people ever again. It's all that's getting me through this, okay. Fuck this place forever. I'm never coming back. This place is actually hell. Bye forever. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I will do a full apartment tour once I am fully moved in here and I'm sure there'll be some daily vlogs coming up where I am still in the midst of unpacking. Yeah, wow. I'm so happy to be out of my other place. I'm so excited to be here. I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi and enjoy the fact that I don't have to live in hell anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like stuff, comment down below your own horror stories from roommates or whatever. Maybe just rant, go for it. Follow me on Instagram and what's the other one? Follow me on Twitter, you have to request it because it's on private. And like my Facebook page for more updates on when I post. Whenever I post a video on here, I talk about it on there. Also turn on post notifications if you want to get like email updates and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Watch you drink your orange juice, you're as good as super food. Drop my phone.